Hey everybody, it's Adam here with 2020. I'm here to do a part two of our seed germination tutorial. So to start, um, we typically like to use HP ProMix. It is a high porosity perlite peat based soil. Um, it's very user friendly. It wicks water really well. Um, and we like the fact that it's inert and we can add our own nutrients to it and know exactly what we're starting with. So um, this this is 800 mils of soil. I've kind of done a rough calculation and figured out that 800 mils of soil requires about 200 mils of water to get it to the proper moisture level. So I'm just going to add this water to it. Of course we normally do this on a much larger scale and we don't typically measure measure it. We just go by feel and look. Um, but I just want to show what it should look like at the proper moisture level and um, what you want it to look like before you plant it. So the one thing I've seen over the years is most people tend to overwater in general. Overwatering is basically just attempting to take care of your plants too well whereas underwatering is just simply neglect and that's typically much much less common so this is what the mixed soil looks like and you can see the difference in the color between the the dry and the mixed uh, moist soil so you shouldn't be able to squeeze any water or very little water out of it um, say maybe just a few drops with a fairly firm squeeze. And another easy way to tell if it's mixed properly is just simply to poke your finger in it, or in this case a Sharpie, and you can see that the soil holds its form really well, and in the dry soil it just uh, collapses back on itself. So, and of course there should never be standing water in the bottom of your, of your mixing receptacle. That definitely means you added too much soil. So next we're going to put this into our uh, planting receptacles. Um, in this case, I really like these jumbo, I call them jumbo six packs. Uh, that's, that's what they call them at the local hydro store. Uh, but they're, they're basically two sizes up from the, from the standard uh, six pack starting uh, containers. And they, they just are a lot more forgiving with watering schedules and you can let the plants get quite a bit larger in these than just the little one inch by one inch uh, standard size uh, six pack. So I've already mixed this in so I'm going to put this aside. And, and then I usually take a sharpie or your finger but um, I usually poke a hole about, about one inch deep or a little less, maybe three quarters of an inch and get these set up and ready to plant. Now we take our seeds that have sprouted. I typically like to plant them when the tails are about an inch long or less. You don't really need to let them grow much more. Once they've sprouted, you know that they are going to grow. So. Uh, once they get long, they start growing into the paper towel, and uh, you certainly don't want them to be, uh, be three or four inches long. At least that's not the technique we prefer to use. So we're going to take uh, uh, one of these seeds here with the tail. You always put the tail down. Um, that's the tap root. That's going to go in straight down. You set it in there gently, and the key is to make sure that the seed is still facing up. Now, if it's st it likely will still survive. If you put it upside down, it's just going to take an extra day or two to, to surface. Now, um, this is another trick that we use here, and that is we take some dry soil and sprinkle it on top instead of just adding moist soil to it. And what that does is it allows an uninhibited pathway for the seed to poke its way out of the soil really quickly. And in fact, a lot of times we'll see them within one day coming out. And the, the, the moisture, the soil will end up um, wicking moisture from the soil around it over the next day or so. 
So I'll do one more uh, sample here. So we set it in. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the tail's down. The seed head's poking up. Uh, just, just, just shy of of maybe a half inch under under the base level there. Sprinkle some dry soil on it, and that's it. We're good to go. So of course, I would plant all six of these. Make sure you mark your six packs. Um, you know, you can do it any way you want. I, I like to use the jumbo popsicle stick st si style or the, the tongue depressor, uh, mainly just because you can ride on them and just, uh, if they end up on the ground, they just uh, end up decomposing and not a bunch of pieces of plastic all over the place. But that's our tutorial for now. Um, encourage uh, everybody to use their own methods that they find. You know, we're just trying to show how we like to do it here at 2020. So that concludes our tutorial. I just wanted to say thanks everyone for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube page and visit our website at www.2020mendocino.com. That's T-W-E-N-T-Y, the number two, the number zero, mendocino.com. Thanks everyone.